Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Woody Woodpecker. Let's get started at the top of our page with the eye. So I'm going to have the head turned over towards the right. So we start with the front eye. We're going to draw an oval slightly angled towards the left. So let's start in the center of our page, the very top of the oval. Curve down. I'm going to pull this all the way back up towards the top. Now I'm going to draw another oval right behind it. So it's going to overlap behind this front oval. Starting on the inside, we're going to go up. And then back in. On the bottom edge of the left eye, we're going to draw a smaller oval for the iris. Starting on the side here, we're going to go up, down, and then just pull that in towards the side. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to draw an even smaller oval on the bottom edge. Starting on the inside, we're going to curve around, and then back out. We're going to fill that in black. And let's do the same thing on the right. Directly above each eye, we're going to draw a curve for the brow. So on the left side, we're going to step up, curve up, and then down. We're going to do the same thing on the right, so we're going to leave a little gap. We're going to go up. Now we're going to pull this down towards the outside of the eye. Now let's move over towards the right and draw in the beak. So we start on the outside of the right eye, curve around the cheek, and then down. We're going to create a little overlap. So we're going to step back, curve out towards the right, and now we're going to pull it up towards the tip of the beak. Now from the tip, I want to curve down and just underneath the left eye. I'm just going to pull that up slightly. Now we want to draw a little curve over the end of this line for the edge of the mouth. Starting on the outside, we're going to curve over and then in. Let's draw in the lower part of the mouth. From this point right here, we're going to curve down towards the bottom of the beak. Now we're going to curve up in the opposite direction underneath the top of the beak. Let's add the tongue on the inside. So on the left side here, we're gonna curve up, and we'll just pull that down slightly. We're gonna step up to create a little overlap, curve over towards the outside of the mouth. At the bottom of this side, we're gonna curve around the corner of the mouth. Going around. Now we're just gonna pull this in towards the mouth. Now we just wanna trim this out on the outside. Now from here, we're going to pull the hair towards the left. So let's start on top of this brow line on the right. We're going to curve over towards the left, going up and then over. I'm going to taper this back with a short curve. Now we're going to do that again. We're going to continue this curve going out and then down. We'll pull that back again. Now one final point. We go out even further and then down. Now from this tip, we want to work our way back in towards the side of the cheek. So right here, we're gonna curve up and over to right about here. We're gonna add another point. We're gonna taper that back down. Now from here, we're gonna curve in towards the side of the cheek. Now we're gonna be leaning the body over towards the right. So let's angle the neck going downwards underneath the chin. So on the left side, we're gonna angle down with a straight line. On the right side of the chin, we'll do the same thing. Now we're going to add the collar around the base of the neck. So we're going to step in towards the middle, curve around towards that line, and we're just going to pull that back up and then in. I'm going to add a little bit of fur, I'm going to taper this down, and then we'll hook that back up. Let's draw another overlap on top. So from here we're going to step back, curve over that edge of the neck. Now we're going to step up and curve in behind this line. Stepping up on the side of the neck, go out, curve around and then in behind. Now I'm going to draw the arm push straight out towards the left. So we're going to start on the side of the collar with a straight line going across. From here I want to curve down the cuff going in and then back out. From here I want to curve down towards the body. I'm going to taper the arm, pull it into right about there. Now let's add the cuff. From the top corner I'm going to continue this curve going around and then out. At the bottom, we'll go in the opposite direction. Now let's connect those two points with a curve. Now from this top point here, I'm gonna start drawing in the thumb. So we're gonna hook around and up. We're gonna round up the tip of the thumb, 
and then just pull that back down. Now I'm gonna pull the finger straight down this way. So from the thumb, we're gonna curve around, and at the end of the finger, we're gonna pull that back in. We're gonna overlap the second finger. So we're gonna step up, curve around, over that line, and then hook that back in. We'll do that one more time. Stepping up, curve over the line. Now I'm gonna pull this around and up towards the bottom edge of the cuff. Now I'm gonna overlap these two points with a curve, just for the edge of the hand. And then up here, I'm gonna draw another curve, going out and then down for the palm. Now I'm gonna push the right arm straight up behind the head. So we're gonna start at the top of this collar and go straight up in behind the beak. We'll continue up above to right about there. Now we're gonna add the edge of the cuff. Starting on this line, we're gonna curve down and then back up. Now from here, I'm gonna pull the straight in behind the head, coming down. Now we're gonna add that same cuff at the top here. We're gonna continue this curve going around and hooking back. Do the same thing with the inside, going in the opposite direction. And we'll connect those two points with a curve. Now let's draw in the hand. From this point here, we're gonna curve over the thumb towards the left. We're gonna round out the thumb and then just pull that back in. Now we're gonna draw those same fingers pushed out towards the right. From this point of the thumb, I'm gonna curve out. Now I'm gonna hook this down and in. We're gonna step back to overlap that line with the second finger, going out a little bit further, and then down. Come back down again, curve over that line. Now I'm gonna hook the finger back around, and then in towards the outside point of the cuff. I wanna overlap these two points with the curve. So stepping out, curve over and down, and we'll draw the palm with the curve going across. Let's continue working down with the body. So from this point in the arm, we're gonna step out and curve the back. I'm gonna curve down and out towards the left. Now at the bottom, I'm gonna hook it back down. Let's go to the front of the body. So underneath this collar, I'm just gonna curve around and then down to the same height. Going out towards the belly. I'm just gonna pull that in to the same height on both sides. Now in between these lines, I'm gonna step up and draw a curve. From left to right, going up and then down for the lower torso. From the center, I'm gonna draw a straight line angling down towards the left towards the heel. Now from here, we're gonna draw in the left foot. From this point, I'm gonna curve down, and I'm gonna hook back the first toe, going around and then in. At the bottom of the toe, we're gonna curve all the way around in towards the ankle. So we'll go around, up, and then in. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Start from the heel, we'll curve down, go around out the toe, and then hook that back. At the outside of the toe, we're gonna to curve around. Now we're gonna pull this right in towards the ankle. Now just above the ankle, we're gonna step up, curve down, and then back up towards the inside of the leg. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna add two large tail feathers on the back here. So we're gonna start on the side of the body. We're gonna go up, we're gonna curve down. Now I'm gonna round out the tip, and I wanna taper it back in towards the body. We do that one more time. Starting at the same point, curve out, down. Now I'm going to round out the tip, come up, and then taper it in towards the body. Now the final thing I'm going to do is add the body patch. So underneath the collar, I'm going to curve down. Just follow the same curve of the body. Now right down here, we're going to curve around and pull it up towards the right side of the body. In the center here, I'm just going to draw a little curve for the chest. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Woody Woodpecker. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.